And welcome back. Hope you all had a good weekend. I had a little sound adjustment. I uh, hope this is coming in better now. I think it is. Um, we have a, another United European Community event here for War Rights. And let's take a look at the two sides. We've got 278 on the ter total server pop. As you can see, we're 350 now on the servers. For the limit, we got 145 on the defending CSA versus 133 for the attacking Union. See on those two teams we got SB with Private Jake on the Artie, along with Jeff Davis Battery, Corporal Baron, and VA Bat Henry Perkins. So three guns for the CSA team. Let's take a look at the rest of their team. They have the 56 Virginia, the Ace Florida, the third Alabama. <laughs> Looking pretty big. We got AGL, eighth Alabama, and then we got the NYV, six New York, and the SB getting down. 51st New York. For leadership here, we've got Memento Mori leading the 3rd Alabama along with Williamson. We've got Pilot leading the NYV, AGL led by GCB, Venom leading the SB, 8th Florida led by Fritz, and Captain Slaughter leading the 56th Virginia. And we are live at 40, so I'll kind of catch these units as they go out for the Union team. They have LFL under Major Huka. We've got ANV led by Lieutenant Prussian. The 20th Georgia under Lieutenant Gonzo, two core led by Edgar. GC led by Jack Stone. Fourth Georgia led by Major Clark E. We've got 52nd New York led by John Beck. And Captain Rousseau leading the 6th Texas as they head on out. Now this game is War of Rights. It is a first person shooter set during the American Civil War during the... Uh, Maryland campaign. This is part of the Battle of Antietam in the very famous Bloody Lane. Now the game is currently on sale as part of the summer sale. It is available now at half price at 15 US dollars. So if you've been waiting to pick it up, now might be a good time to do so. As we got the NYV tip of the spear here on the Corporal, uh, Sergeant Pilot, I should say. Um, almost demoted him there. Doing a little bit of an advanced fighter in turn to uh, disrupt this CSA attack. We'll see if he can get away with it. And he says to get out of Dodge. We'll see if we can. Oh, Recruit Green, they said break the load. That means run. Run. Oh, and you that's what happens when you don't break the load. But most of the NYV has been able to skedaddle. Oh, they lost a couple guys. Sergeant so Pilot did a little bit of disruption there, trying to slow down the uh, CSA, t the Union team, I should say. And here comes LFL moving on up. By the way, I do the flag so I can see kind of the results, especially on like when the uh, there's a bit of uh, obstruction to the view. So I know it doesn't look as cinematic, but uh, that's the reason I do it. And um, I'll do cinematic views, but um, the main reason for the channel is. LFL got blown up there by that already. You got Williamson in the third Alabama. Trying to hold back this Union force, which has succeeded in capturing this left side of the field here. So we'll see if they can uh, make use of this advantage. We do have, who is this moving up? Here comes Rousseau. That corn looks very right for the taking. By the way, we are at the um, new rules for the event, which is no sprinting and no bayonets until the 30-minute mark. So that is why that is going on and why you see clubs coming up here, as they say, as they don't uh, put fixed bayonets before they go into melee. So six Texas Rousseau is being very aggressive here. And Fort Georgia has come in as well. And they continue to try, try to press forward here. Meanwhile, the rest of the Union team is kind of moving forward a little bit here at a time. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let's 
So far, the CSA is holding strong despite those attacks. Sir, in the north, there's a blue fan on the hill. It's like a half of the arms. We do have a little bit of a skirmish fight going on back here with uh, the SB here keeping an eye on the back door and GC kind of poking at it. Get that already still going off, kind of keeping this uh, two core a little bit honest here and not letting him come all the way up here unopposed. Yeah, kind of a French contingent between the LFL and the two core up here. Thirty-five minutes, so not not working too bad for the CSA yet. So again, uh, we'll see what happens when sprinting and bayonets come live. But so far, this is uh, going fairly well for the CSA team. In fact, Huka is going to bring his men a little bit further down. Maybe try to get under the yardy. They're going to kind of come up to take this position from the 6th Texas and 4th Georgia here. Let them reconstitute a bit, keeping the pressure on the CSA team. By the way, this event is called the United European Community Event. It is held every Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT. If you are interested in signing up, there is certainly room, and there is a link in the description if you would like to get your unit signed up for this event. Also, if you're a new player and you're looking to get into the event, you're like, man, how do I get involved? Well, you get involved by joining one of these units. And how do I join one of these units? Well, you do that by helpful uh, voice asking questions in my head. Bye. Uh, joining the discords for all these units and seeing which one you like. Um, so there are links to all these units, discords, in the description. So you can take a look at the units, you know, what they speak, languages, leadership style, uh, event times they participate in, and you too can participate in this event. See 3rd Alabama here, this uh, side album is getting kind of beat up. You have to fall back a bit. Now you have 56 kind of coming up here. And now, with that mass fire, now that the uh, LFL kind of came down, that has made a lot of difference over here, along with 2-core. But the UN CSA is going to try to uh, adapt to it and move out to this forward field here. We'll see if this works out for them. You also got the NYV. Looks like they're going to try to do a wide flank. Still have GC over here, but they might get caught out by the SP. I think they've gotten out into the corn before SP saw them. So we'll see if this forward movement here by the CSA team can kind of stop this onslaught now that the Union has concentrated almost all of its power over here to that one concentrated position. Open files. Open files, left and right. Are you guys over here green? Go right. Nice volley there from the anchor of the Union. He's playing CSA right now, but uh, they still keep that name. See, the problem is how far up the uh, Union has come. And they basically cut off the CSA from this position down here. This might be a critical error here by the CSA team. And might allow for a... I I'm kind of surprised the Union's capping right now here. I would think they would want to wait a little bit. That might be a critical mistake by them, but we'll see. I do like the positioning, I just didn't like the cap. I thought they should have stayed off the cap for a little bit longer, try to get them at least down to engage before you cap. 
and uh, that is not what they did. And we'll see what the CSA does. They're not in a great spot here. In fact, the SB is getting distracted by the GC, and uh, it's not what you want to do right now. Because you've got a big problem. See, NYV has been wiped out. Really, the only unit that's left over on this field is the SB. You do have some surviving elements down here. Yeah, the HEL and the 56, but, uh... See, now the SB is going to take a ton of fire because they're the only unit to shoot at on the field. You don't want to be the only unit out here like this. Um, yeah, Venom's going to try to get his men out of there, but he's lost a lot doing it. Is he engaged? Scrambles back to friendlies. See the reinforcements for the CSA are now coming up here. Alright, we're now at the uh, point where they can start using bayonets to sprinting again. So we'll see how that uh, changes the battlefield here. Maybe it was a good idea for the Union to cap early before the bayonets came on. Uh, we will see. I, I think the Union's a little bit spread out here. I don't know why these guys are all the way back here. Two corner, they might be uh, reconsolidating after an earlier push. That might be what's going on, actually. Um, if that's the case, that's fine. But, um, yeah, I think these... Well, no, it's, they're moving up here. They're okay. Advance on Prussian. Let's go. This is fine. See, they're moving up. A little nervous about it, but uh, they're, they're starting to up down. Kind of surprised they're not maybe rotating a couple units out to this direction to uh, some flanking fire in. But, um, I mean, kind of like GC was, but they got hit pretty dang hard. They might say, hey, they might. the strategy might be, hey, we'll just... Just fight it out here on the corner. And I don't like how far back some of these units are, but maybe they're worried about getting flanked through the... Ah, uh, see, here we go. Who's doing it? New 6 Texas. Um, I think they're going in a little bit too shallow. You kind of want to be up and have the crest of the hill so you can fall back behind it a little bit. It might be out of bounds for the Union, but I don't think it is. This, I would say, is a little bit too shallow of a position and it's going to get eaten up by these units over here. You gotta use the terrain, you gotta use what cover you can get. You can't just go straight out and, and try to punch a superior force. It's just not gonna work. I would say CSA's probably got the best opportunity they might have to retake this uh, the point and get some uh, tickets back here. We'll see. They might try to shoot him down in 16 minutes, but I don't think they'll have enough time to get him down to the last stand. I would go for the early recap. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, you'd like to see more, just support the channel. I always appreciate any likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. You know, help the channel grow. Bonjour, bonjour. Northwest, man. Northwest. Northwest. Especially always like hearing what you guys thought of the maps. Your favorite moments and that kind of stuff. Always enjoy reading those. See, the problem right now for the, uh, the CSA is doing a great job of concentrating their fire against select units. And again, the Union is... A little bit too spread out. It is not really mutually supporting here. And that is going to allow the CSA potentially to uh, regain some footing here. But we will see. CSA as a union, I think I would rotate a little bit more out. I do, I do the same as the CSA. I mean, it's not bad right now concentrating your fire. Okay, like this, who's this? NYV. Uh, I wouldn't go too deep. Like, I think right where they are is probably deep enough. Yeah, 
I think he might be going a little bit too deep here. And that might attract a lot of fire. Get cut off. Now you can see there's already a reaction force moving. You gotta, gotta be careful to make yourself too much of a... Draw too much attention here and uh, let him see what happens here. Fire and charge. There are not many of them. Fire and charge. Join the charge with us, please. Finish them off. A and V coming in as well. They know. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think 6 New York got a little bit too anxious there. A little bit too ambitious. But 6 Texas might be doing the same. They got to be careful. But while that's going on, here's the main show. And moving in off the anchor of the, uh, well, this time is the CSA. You got 3rd Alabama coming in as well, putting in some heavy punches against the ANV. Look at that damage they just did. 3rd Alabama, holy shit. Oh, you got 8th Florida as well. You got a lot of heavy hitters in this, in this team. Now again, right now, it's a little bit counterintuitive. But the more casualties you inflict on them, the less you get back when you recap. So it's actually counterintuitive to get into long, you know, gunfights that are just attriting generally. That actually hurts you as the uh, counterattacking team. You actually want to recap the point with as many, uh, as high enemy morale as possible because you'll get that morale back. So it's a little bit counterintuitive, and it's a mistake I, I'm seeing fairly consistently made. But hopefully, we start avoiding. It's not just about killing the enemy. It's not like, oh, I'm killing the enemy, I'm doing good. No, no, you got to understand what the overall situation with the game is. Yeah, see, this I like. Third Alabama is kind of moving up here to get a better angle, but it's still close enough to stay in supporting fire range. I would just keep leap leapfrogging here and just get another unit, or just do an absolute charge and, and knock him out. You also got options in the corner as well if you want to do an attack down here. JGL wants to, Juicy wants to kind of come in behind and smack the LFL. That's an open avenue for them as well. So a lot of options here for the CSA, but I think they're making a mistake of just doing this shootout here. It looks nice, it feels comfortable, but it really is hurting you. Now they are at the point where they're recapping. Guys, come on, break reload. On the fifth. Come on, Charlie. Reload. Again, as you can see, the morale's going down for the Union team. That actually hurts the CSA. You got GC going to try to do another little maneuver like they were before, just try to drag some attention away. So here's this counterattack coming in, but I think AGL came in a little bit too shallow. Um, still might work though, actually. Uh, even though it was shallow, it still worked here. Fairly well. Eh. I don't know. I don't think as well as it could have been, to be honest with you. If I was a Union, I think I would uh, pull off a bit and let them recap. But you can see the problem now is the CSA hasn't, you know, they've, they've retaken it, but they haven't really gotten any morale back. Now we're at 31 minutes. Yeah, we're at even, but now you're about a third of the way down on engaged. Which is not ideal. You could have done it when you were still like almost full way engaged. Or battle ready, you would have been in much better shape. 
at the 30 minute mark here. And I think the Union made a mistake by capping this early as well. I, I didn't really see a need to do that. I think there's still plenty of options to fight the CSA um, at that time and get some more tickets, get them down to at least engaged. It's already guys starting there. Hey. So right now, this is actually really working towards the CSA's advantage. They have really managed to stuff the Union back here, and they've kind of lost any... Uh, Maneuvering. NYV's coming out again. They gotta be careful, man. They've gotten caught out a couple times. Maneuvering a little bit too far and getting caught. You got six Texas over here, which may threaten their flank if they get too far out here, but if they stay over here, they might be a good flank guard. Um, I would still, as a CSA, consider... Well, actually, you know what? Right now, I think I would I would keep this, this position right here. I think this is working fairly well for them. I don't know if I don't think I would change anything. Uh, it's all mutually supporting, but it's still good intersecting lines of fire here. As you can see, it's kind of a... You got your set formations here. And kind of a, uh, you know, like a two-tiered system here with AGL and then 56 a little bit below them. Um, and it's... it's They're concentrating their fire, so it's having really good effects on this Union team. Now, the Union team, I think, is going to start rotating out. If I was them, I think, to this side here, either hit from this angle go even further down to like where GC is and try to swing up from this side. But I think uh, trying to punch through this, you know, I don't think you're going to do it. You see, it's really broken up this Union force here, and they're just kind of... Again, it's okay, you guys are up here, but everybody's going to be shooting at you. And yeah, they, they got to head on back. Try to reorganize the yard and maybe have another attack. Now the CSA is moving up here slowly but surely. I wouldn't even bother. I would just stay back and, and try to kill some time here. Um, you see, okay, now these guys are starting to rotate over this side here. And I think this is the good angle of attack. Might leave a screen out here with the uh, GC. Uh, 20th, why are you going the other way? Not sure why they're going the other way, but yeah, I think they can attack against these guys. The NYV. Oh, let's see. We got might be a counter blow coming up here. Who is this? AGL coming in trying to. Ooh. Got a nice twist on the poor Fort Georgia as they were moving up. But they still were able to punch up enough. Six Texas has knocked off those guys. And you have a bit of an angle here. Um. But not, not, they don't have enough with it, though, to really make it useful. Still too much down here, I think. I mean, LFL's moving up now, but it might be too late. They might have lost the uh, initiative. Still not looking bad at 26 minutes. It's starting to uh, catch up a little bit here. A&V's going to try maybe along this cornfield a bit. Might be able to thin out the uh, CSA line enough to start having some effects on this side. 
they concentrate on the SB here. In fact, looking up here, you know, they got some nice angles here on the poor SB and the rest of the CSA. It's kind of being distracted by these guys. So if you can swallow this up here quick, uh, you might have an opening here. Just we'll see if the Union can uh, attack with enough uh, force to actually achieve that. It's not easy to knock back the SB even on the best of days. We'll see if uh, Mr. John Beck can do it, though. And these openings don't last forever. Alright, let's see who's being aggressive. It is the LFL, Lee's French Legion. And Mr. Hookah here is going to try to uh, knock it back. They should have support coming in. I'm amazed they don't have support coming in aiding them. Alright, here comes some support. 20th George is going to try to move up. Alright, now we're starting to see that forward movement here. And a little bit of a disjointed attack, but it was enough and good good on LFL for leading the charge on that. And uh, for the rest of the team to uh, kind of react. Now, 6 Texas has paid the price, but they were able to distract a good chunk of the CSA team and allow for the defeat of the SB on that side. So we'll see if the uh, Union can uh, make use of that. Oh man, they're pounding poor 8th Florida right now. Again, I think they need to get a little bit more aggressive, keep keep pushing up a bit. You don't have to charge, but you know, fire in advance, fire in advance, you know. Kind of do some bounding action, put pressure on the CSA team before they can recover. You also don't want to kind of give yourselves up to nice hardy shots here. You start getting too stationary, and the already has shown they will nail you, so even moving up, you know, after every shot or two, I'd say after every shot, you should be moving out maybe five yards. Uh, try to throw off the Arty a little bit. At 23 minutes, so about even. I'd say the CSA is slightly ahead, but the time is definitely favoring them. And you still have these elements up there as a threat, which is good. I think I would, uh, I think I would try to get them down to taking losses and then cap. And that's exactly what they're going to try to do here. Well, that was a good arty shot disrupting that charge. Uh, this attack has failed. They need to pull off now. It's over. You need to pull off and reorganize so you don't lose too many tickets. We need to pull out, Miley. Oh, but wait, we do have this element right here who has not been dealt with. And they might be able to sign up a breach head here. You got 20th Georgia, Mr. Gonzo, joining him. Well, actually, no, he's going to try to clean up this element, which 3rd Alabama got a little bit too, uh... Oh, this might be a critical mistake. They got a little bit too advanced here. Now their retreat is cut off. Oh, good move here by the 20th Georgia. And that is going to cost the CSA dearly for that mistake. <laughs> Meantime, you still have this bridgehead that has not been dealt with. Now you got new pressure developing from these units up here. Double crack. So the union has opted not to cap, and I think that's the right decision. Um, you can take the time now to kind of reconsolidate and get your men back up and figure out your next attack. That was not a bad attack, though, at all. Um, he already hit it at a very good time, and it was a very good defense by the CSA, but uh, still did a lot of damage for that Union team. We'll see what they choose to do next. You can see they're already getting reconsolidated here. 
see they kind of slow the battlefield down here a little bit, try to get them down to breaking, or if they're going to kind of force the issue on point. Allez, monsieur. Allez, suivez Edgar. Allez, on bouge, on bouge, on bouge. Restez en colonne, monsieur. Restez en colonne. Allez-vous sur la barrière, étalez-vous C'est bien les gars, c'est bien, bon tas, bon tas. Attention, on se termine. And it looks like they're gonna go for the cap and not the charge. Um, hmm, I'd, I'd go for the charge. You might get him down to breaking, but we'll see. Maybe this is the right call. I, I think I agree with whoever that was. I wouldn't cap right now. I think you're, you're very close to having him on breaking here. And you're in a great position to do so. You just need to keep the pressure on for a little bit longer. Now these guys, I might have move up a little bit. You know, maybe try to seize forward march. these rocks here, or even you know, even oh, this far forward here. That was kind of a ship. Oh, man. shit! Here they come. Now, I'd be careful not to charge into point and cap. I think this is. This I, I, I don't agree with. At least spread charge, man. It might. Thanks for telling us. No problem. Maybe this is the right call. They're getting a lot of good kills off of it. Virginia, oh, oh, the Florida, uh, push him off, and we'll uh, deal with that problem. But again, the Union is now well ahead on tickets. Um, I don't think I would have charged there. It, it wasn't a bad call. I, I just, I, my style, I probably wouldn't. Um, so the flag is down. You know, you lose the flag. It's, it's. Start losing some respawn. It's it's not really worth it. Yeah, I just rotate a few more units out here and just keep just keep squeezing them. You got plenty of time. You got 18 minutes. You got all the time in the world. Now, this is a very tough map for the uh, CSA, though. So, this is, even though they're losing, they're losing pretty significantly. This is not like a bad performance. Blanc. Looks like they're just keeping it. Uh, yeah, again, I'd rotate out to this side. You have excellent shots on these guys. You don't need to rotate your entire force, but you know, um, like maybe these guys alone. And you know, and they're heading out there now to their to their credit. You now, Fort George or Six Texas, they do 
you know, keep up the pressure on this side here. And you maintain this major force. Go get him down to break him pretty soon. Now, there's no, uh, what I call Steam Chat, because that's what a lot of people use is the Steam uh, communication. Not in this event, um, it's all in game communication, so no text chat or anything, universal chat or anything like that. It's all done by runners. So I know these guys are coming up. These guys have no idea. I don't know. I I, I don't I don't agree with Venom here. I, I I understand what he's doing. He's trying to get some kills here, but this is very risky here. Especially with the flag, because you're not being sneaky with the flag, guys. Beautiful volley. I definitely wouldn't stay here after you just did a volley like that. I would have definitely left the flag back at home. I don't know why they brought this flag with them. Attention les alliés devant. 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 Go, 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 go. Nice off angle, off angle charge here. Looks like uh, Third Alabama saw it in time. Again, I wouldn't be charging at the moment. But they met the objective. They got him on breaking. Let's see if the Union goes for an absolute charge now, or if they keep the battle slow. I don't think they have enough manpower to charge right now. The speed's actually doing a good job of. Ooh, they nailed two core with that. And I was worried about this. I thought that was a little bit too risky, but it's actually working out very well for the SP there. And they they have really. This is going to be a problem for the Union here. I would charge back and take out the SB. And just reconsolidate here and, and wait a little bit. I think they get sucked in here a little bit too much. That's the problem when you get too engaged with the enemy. You kind of lose cohesion. And you're not able to uh, really maneuver. Like right now, I just turn and charge SB right now if I was these units up here. Just nail their flag and, and, and you know. You're not gonna you're not gonna take point right now. You're not gonna defeat this. Actually, if I was a CSA right now, I would charge out the Union now. It's now kind of flipped here. They've done enough damage between the SB and the rest of them that these guys are kind of low. You could knock out these guys and knock out their flags. That might be enough for you to win. You're going to lose some tickets doing it, but um, I think it would be a huge benefit if you could knock out their flags and get them to uh, and, you know, kind of fight them up top here in volleys while they can't get their respawns while you can. Oh, here comes the charge now against the SB. A little bit too late, though, to be honest with you. Oh, Jazz, blood. the Union's right here, boys! The Union's right here! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ow! Ow! Get the flag up, get the flag up. And after all that, the SB still survived. Holy shit, the anchor of the, uh... 
Well, in this case, the CSA, but the anchor of the Union, indeed. Now you got this, again, kind of cluster over here. And Venom has done what he can. He's going to get out of there. Um, I didn't think it was a good maneuver, but he kind of proved me wrong there. Actually worked out very well for the SP. Well, this was a waste of a run. Again, I put the pressure on now. If I was a CSA and try to wipe this, knock out these flags, man, and just make them fight you coming down like all onesie twosie shit. Yeah, I just, just, I just disengage. You got 10 minutes, you got plenty of time. Just shoot them into the last okay. time. Ah, <laughs> Get moving, Get moving. At this sprint, at this sprint. Decent at this attack sprint. here by six oh, Texas. I like the bounding by the fourth Georgia there, kind of bounding behind him. Yeah, I just don't think there's enough manpower. I like the angle. I just, I just don't think they have enough to it. Run, boys, run! Run, run, run! He stayed a little bit too long. Maybe not. Maybe they got out in time. Come back here! It looks like they got away. Claim the rocks, boys. Get your kit full of. Hi, Edward. You have click CSR, you need to farm the old. Macht euch breit. So you say he's doing a decent job of buying some time right now. Still eight minutes is a long time though before they go one last stand. Advance, advance, forward. <laughs> SB is attacking forward here. Oh, but FL fell's there now. Um, I think he committed this too early. We'll see. It's it's a it's a fairly successful attack, but there's a lot back here, and uh, the Union can afford to take more casualties than the CSA can at this point. So. Um, yeah, I think that was a mistake. That was a lot of a lot of tickets you just lost there. And now you're not really as much of a restraining force as you were on these elements here. Donzo, we got Still seven minutes left too. There's a lot of time left. Thanks, the Jobs Custer. Well, it's nice to have a you know, 350 servers, so we can have to split in two. Uh, you know, we're 308 right now, so. Um, it's gonna be a close one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I still, I'd still say the CSA has it, but um, the Union can definitely take it.
Form up, form up, just really can't afford any mistakes now. Pareil. Union still has a decent amount of time left too. So I'd definitely slow up the fight for another minute or two. Kind of mass up and figure out where you want to attack from. You don't really need to engage, you just need to get set. <coughs> Yeah, this I think is a mistake. Only uh, a couple units here engaging. They can really concentrate their fire on these Union elements here. Alright, get on the fence. This is we're not, we're not getting in there. Let's get on the fence. Good eyes. Good spot, Ninja. Direct southwest. Keep up the fire in the corner. 20, let's push. Fuck that. Let's go. 20, up. Let's go. With me. Double quick. 20, full in. Full in with Alabama. 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 Fall in of LFL. Fall in with LFL for now. Fire at will. Keep firing, kill them all. Also, they're pushing. Our friendlies are pushing right now. Alright, here comes the attack. Right at the angle on the corner. I think the Union's got it. I think that was, yep. I think they got it. It's a good charge, concentrated. And I think it was enough to push off the Union team. Uh, CSB was out of position here and was not able to restrain any of those elements here that charged in. Now we'll see if they can make up for it. They have to hit these guys hard and fast. And they might be able to pull it off. Oh, but no other charge came in. It was a little bit too late. Yeah, that charge, it, they, were too, they were too far off. And I think the Union held. We still have some CSA left here that'll try to contest it. But, uh, I think the Union's a little bit too concentrated here for the CSA element to push them off. We'll see. They were too far away, too disaggregated. They weren't disaggregated, but they were they were too detached. They, they, they weren't able to maneuver to support the, the SB, and I think that really upset the balance here. And this is just clean up now at this point. And the Union will win it. CSA gave him a hell of a try, though. It was a hell of a bloody lane. Definitely living up to its name. Yep. And there's the end of it. Well, good job to both teams. It's a tough fight. Very even fight. That's what you want to see. Tough map, too. And he was able to pull it off, though.